Good morning, it's day 98. We're back on trail at the Three Sisters Wilderness and it's like 6, 10 a.m. because we're trying to get to the youth camp for lunch and then we're trying to get into town, into Bend so that we can go river floating tomorrow with some friends. It's, I think, 18 miles today. Let's do it. It's already smoky. Okay, so today's another kind of grit your teeth day because it's going to be a hot one. There isn't really any water till the youth camp, which is 13 miles from now. So we're loaded up on water. I say we, we kind of all hike our own hike at this point. Um, so I'm loaded up on water and I've got this Mordor rocky lava terrain again, which is cool in theory, except that it's hard to walk on. So... I'm going to turn on my audiobooks and my music, and I'm going to blast through while inhaling this Oregon smoke. <laughs> this is just incredibly difficult to walk on. Look, it's so foggy that that mountain looks like it's floating. So much smoke. So much smoke. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to walk on infinite golf balls? Come on down to the Three Sisters Wilderness, where you can give that a try for hours and hours. I took a little side trail, because I heard it was cool. And I heard there's a lot of caves and lava tubes. There's one right there. It's kind of cool. Now this trail looks very Mordor like. Apparently there's a good view up there. I could see how on a normal day these views would be awesome. But today it's mostly just smoke. So not sure I'd recommend this little side adventure on a smoky day. The terrain was cool though, all this red dirt and everything. Neat cave here. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Oh wow, this one's just like a drop off. There's even some snow in there, that's kind of funny. Pretty cool though. This one. Not so sure. Not sure how far in that goes and I'm not going to find out, but it is pretty cool. Lava flow, I don't think I've ever seen, or lava tube. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think that's another cave right there. Don't know, we'll check that one out. I think it's about time to get going. I don't wanna miss the lunch buffet. My curiosity got the better of me and I'm glad I looked. This is pretty cool. Tube that goes right through. I've never been in a cave quite like this. There's one opening. There's the other. And yet another lava tube right there. But this time I really do have to go. It's almost 8.30. I still have over nine miles to go. I have a little bit of sweet relief from the lava rocks. I think there's one more patch of it and then I'm done. This is what it looks like right now. The terrain is very trying. Okay, not sure how many more miles, but you can see that it stretches out for a ways, so this is going to be the next few hours at least. Fun! Thank God we're out of the lava. We have this very dusty road now, but that's okay. I'd much prefer that. And we're out of the burn area too. 
I think we have three more miles to the junction. I'm excited. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. I think it's almost 10 o'clock. It is 11.05 and I am very close to the youth camp. And y'all, I haven't seen a single mosquito all day and there's not a greater gift in the world than that. Oh, so good. That must be Big Lake. I'm getting so close. Yay. Woo woo. Well, this is nice. We just got done hanging out at the Big Lake Youth Camp. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was fantastic. Uh -huh. We got a great meal, great sitting, great internet time. Snacks. Coffee. We got to wash our hands. Food. Sadly, it's time to hit the trail for five more miles before we hit the road. And get and to hopefully bend. Hopefully get to bend. We just passed the 2,000 mile marker. Now we skipped about 700 miles or so. We got ourselves some trail magic. Woo! We got beer. Ice cold beer. Just wanted to say thank you for taking us to the brewery in Bend. <laughs> PCT hikers get a free beer at Crux Brewing. So we went there, had a beer and had some dinner. And then the next day we went to Avid Cider Co because they give PCT hikers their first pint for a dollar. And we ran into some of our original friends on the PCT that we call them the A tiers and we helped them do their resupply boxes that they were sending ahead. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I got to get these boxes and everything. And after that, we got a chance to relax at the pool and by the fire. If you know what we're talking about, smash that like button. <laughs> like and subscribe, and subscribe. Everyone, get nuded. Yeah, let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Whoa. The next day, we ran into Anne, who we hiked San Jacinto with originally. And then Gargoyle and I did our own resupply, and we headed back to trail. Unfortunately, we had to part ways with our friend Bear for a little while, but we hope to see him down the trail. As always, thanks for watching!